Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, we're going to be going over the composition widget in Adobe Muse. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to open Muse. And I have here a composition widget with my logo text here. And what we're going to do, I'll, I'll show you first uh, where to get the composition widget. Uh, if you go to Object, uh, Insert Widget, and composition, we have the composition option here. We have either blank, uh, featured news, <coughs> excuse me, featured news, light box display, presentation, or tooltip. Uh, we're going to be working with a blank, with the blank composition today. Uh, and you can go ahead and play with these other ones after um, we go over this one. These ones will be fairly, I should say, easy to work with once we work with this blank one here. All right, so again, we go to Object, Insert Widget, Composition, and then Blank. All right, so we insert that there. Actually, let me delete this first. Let me insert an image in here first. Uh, let's see, yep, so I'm going to go create a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is create a, uh, a tree with images on it. So I'm going to go to fill, add image, composition widget, and here we go. And I'm going to do scale to fit, center it, and make this a bit bigger. All right, so my idea for this uh, composition widget is to have uh, a slideshow in the middle of the tree and then have images around the tree. Okay. So there's our image, and now I'm going to take the stroke off this rectangle, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and insert a, here, let me just line this up properly, yeah, and insert a composition widget. So I go to object, insert widget, composition, and blank. And what a composition widget is, is that uh, right down here these little rectangles are called triggers and when you click on the trigger or you can select to roll over a trigger uh, something will appear within this rectangle box here uh, it's a neat way to just get really creative and, and just do a, a really interesting and unique and fun things with your website so my idea for this composition is to have five buttons around the tree and this centerpiece be right in the middle of the tree. So in order to have five boxes, uh, you'll notice this little plus symbol uh, right here next to this last uh, target uh, trigger. These are called triggers, and if you leave your mouse over it, you can see it says trigger, and here we have target. Uh, when you click on the trigger, the target appears, or if you roll over, um, and we'll go over those options in a second. So to add another trigger, I just click the plus button, and I click it again, uh, to add another one. So I have five triggers and this uh, target I need to make a little bit smaller so that it actually looks good on the tree. If I hold shift and resize it kind of keeps the proportion of that target and then I can put it right there kind of in the middle of the site and in the middle of the tree. That looks good. Oops. All right uh, and now I want to move these uh, triggers around the tree. Okay. Very good. And I want to fill these triggers and this uh, target with images. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you'll notice that these are different, different colors. The trigger, when I click on a different trigger, it's a different color except uh, these so you know I can make uh, I've made the target purple so when I click this trigger this target becomes purple and I can make uh, if I click on this trigger I'm now on this target and I can make this orange oops I made the uh, trigger orange let's make the target orange there we go so see purple orange and uh, blue. See, so first click on the trigger 
and then you can click the target because now the trigger um, made the particular target come, come up and you can now edit that particular target. And there we go. So if I click on any of these targets, we get different colors. What I want to do is fill this with images because you can also change the trigger color. You just select the trigger and change the fill or you can fill it with an image or whatever, you, whatever you'd like. All right. And when you click on those triggers, they, um, they change. And because the, uh, the triggers have uh, different states, they have uh, active state, rollover state, um, normal state, and mouse down state. Uh, we'll have to make sure that when we click the trigger, we go to our states panel and we're on normal first. So if I change uh, the color of this trigger when it's selected on normal, it should change it for the rest of these states. So let's try that and we change it to this light blue and it did. Um, just remember when you first click on a trigger, it's on the active state. So your mouse down, your rollover and your normal state don't change at all. So again, uh, it was on active, we wanna click normal and then that's when we change the trigger to whatever color. That ensures that whenever we click off the trigger that it stays the same and we get our, our desired effect with uh, the same colors. Okay, so what I wanna do is fill these triggers with a particular image and fill this target with a particular image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this trigger. And sorry about all the colors. Uh, I just kinda of was trying to, you know, kinda of demonstrating uh, what the triggers does and how you can fill the triggers and targets. So for now, just bear with me for a sec with these different colors. These are all gonna change into images. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is uh, select the trigger. And if I go to fill and I go to add image, um, I have a few different images of nature, which I'm gonna use for, for this particular demonstration. I'm gonna click uh, Birch Forest and now I'm, and then I'm gonna go to scale to uh, fit or scale to fill and I'm gonna put it in the center. All right, so now this trigger actually has an image in it, which is pretty cool. And if I go to the target uh, and I can change this to fill, add image, birch forest, uh, scale to fill and put it in the center and there we go. So now if I click and again, I made the mistake of um, not changing the trigger on the normal state. So now I have to go back to the normal. See the rollover and the mouse down are gray and the active is the only one that has the image. Uh, so I have to go to normal, uh, go to fill, add image, select the image, uh, scale to fill, excuse me, and then center it again. So now this trigger is gonna always have that image no matter what the state is rollover, mouse down, active, and normal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these, um, these five, uh, four, and then we'll see how it looks in the, the uh, browser. So I go to fill, add image, uh, let's pick this bridge lake here, and scale to fill, and put it in the center. Same thing with the target, fill, add image, and scale to fill, and center it. Here we go. And let me see, I think I might be able to select both the trigger and the target and fill them at the same time. So if I select trigger and then I hold down shift, I can select another element. So I'll select the target. Um, again, click the trigger, hold the shift uh, key on your keyboard and then select another element. And now they're both selected. And if I go to fill, add image, and we're gonna add, uh, this bridge in the forest. And let's see if that worked, it did. And then we're gonna do scale to fill. And there we go. And it didn't change it on the target. So uh, didn't change the fill on the target. So I'm gonna go to fill, excuse me, I'm gonna click the target, go to fill, scale to fill, and then center it. There we go. And again, we made this mistake again. So we have to go to normal, uh, fill, All right, I made this mistake, click add image, Bridge and forest, scale to fill, and center it. All right, there we go. And let's do this one more time. And let's click the normal state there. Uh, fill, 
add image. Uh, let's do bridge and forest. Um, and wait for a second. Uh, scale to fill. Center it. Uh, okay, I see. Um, yeah, so I, it actually did work uh, initially right from the beginning if we select both. But you got to make sure that your state is on normal for it to work when you select the trigger and the target. Okay, so this last one here, um, I'm going to click on normal state and I'm going to click the, oops, again, normal, hold down shift, select the target. So now they're both selected, go to fill, add image, and I'll click on pink sky and I'll do scale to fill and then position it in the middle. All right, so that's our composition. Um, and if I go and preview this in the browser, hit command shift E and I scroll down, you can see if I click on each of these triggers, the image changes in the middle of the tree. So we kind of had a kind of nature theme going with this, uh, with this site, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, interesting and yeah, cool. Um, so now I want to change a few options with my composition. To select the whole composition, you just kind of click once and make sure you have kind of this outer dashed line across the whole composition. And the composition is going to stretch to the farthest trigger to the other farthest trigger. So if I put this trigger like way over here and this trigger way over here, my composition is now that size. It's like wrapping around these outer triggers. Okay, I'll just undo that. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the composition. I'll just click on the center target, make sure that the whole composition is selected. And if it's selected properly, you should get this, uh, you will get this uh, blue uh, arrow here that lets you, set op lets you set options for your composition. So you just click there. Uh, we have a few different options. Um, we can have a position stacked, uh, scattered, or light box. Um, for this video, we're going to leave it on stacked, but you can go ahead and play with that. Uh, scattered, I believe, just means you can have the target in different um, places. So your target isn't always just one target kind of in, in the same place. So I could actually have multiple move my targets around and things like that. And Lightbox, um, I won't get into that too much, but you can go ahead and play with that and, and see what Lightbox does. Um, I believe it just puts your target within a Lightbox. Um, and we can play with that just to see what that looks like. Yeah, so if we go to Command Shift E and we click, see it puts the image in a light box. So instead of having the target in the middle, when you click a trigger, it puts kind of this uh, overlay on your whole website and kind of shows the image. And that's called um, like a light box. So like this image is kind of like in a light box uh, display. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on um, stacked. And we can check scattered too, just to see what that looks like. So I believe scattered. So now if I click on this trigger and I move this trigger over here, um, we should, yep, you see. So we can have the, tr the target in different places. Um, and stacked, if you move the trigger, it won't work that way. Um, just to show you, and we'll put it on stacked and we'll try to move that target over here and I don't think it's going to work. Oh, you see, like it moves all the targets to that one area. All right. So yeah, go ahead and play with those options um, and see what works best for you for your website. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave it on stacked and that's fine. And show target, we want to do it. Uh, we can do it on click or on rollover. So if I hit command shift E um, and now if I just roll over the targets, the uh, the trigger, excuse me, the target will change. Pretty cool. All right, and we have hide target. Um, we can initially hide this target. So if I hit, um, oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, we can hide the target when we roll out. So if I click on roll out or roll out of trigger and target, the target will disappear. So right now it appears, and then I'm off and it disappears. I'm off the image, disappears. Okay, and on rollout of trigger and target just means if you're not on the trigger or target, it's going to roll out. And uh, on rollout, just if you 
go off the um, the trigger it's gonna so I'm clicking on rollout command shift E yeah so it's like yeah you just roll out of the trigger and the target disappears um, I want the target to stay there so I'm gonna select none uh, transition you can have it transition horizontal or vertical so let me do horizontal command shift E it just kind of does that it's pretty cool or we can do uh, vertical all right that's pretty cool as well the image changes vertically all right so I'm gonna go kind of speed up through the rest of these options just so I'm not taking too much time uh, transition speed is how quickly your your slides change so if I set a sec, uh, transition speed of two it's gonna change very slowly you see that's pretty slow okay and I'm gonna change the transition to fading because I like the fading effect but I'll show you it's pretty slow if you have it set to two just kind of fade slowly and it could work depending on how you want to design your website um, very good so let's set this to uh, 0.5 again 0.5 is a good speed um, we can set the uh, the composition to autoplay so that it'll move to the next trigger every three seconds let's set it to one and we'll see how that looks and if if you start to kind of mess around with the composition you can have it resume normally after three seconds you can have it play once you can shuffle it you can put triggers on top enable swipe on mobile devices or touch enable devices you can hide the target initially um, you can have a close button and show all in design mode uh, so go ahead and play with these um, for the sake of this video I'm not going to go much over any of these other options because they're pretty self-explanatory um, the one thing I will explain is the hide all initially if I have this checked off and I do uh, command shift E uh, my target is hidden initially and then you can see the autoplay kicked in and it just um, it resumes now after three seconds so if I put my mouse on any of these triggers um, I'm kind of disrupting the autoplay but then if I leave my mouse out it's going to resume after three seconds all right and again if I select not to hide all initially I'm going to see my target uh, initially and then it's going to autoplay or I can do it manually and then it's going to resume after three seconds yep there we go I believe that was resume after three seconds yep all right so that's pretty much it for composition widgets uh, or for this particular composition widget uh, thanks for watching if you have if you have any questions please ask um, and go ahead and feel free to play with these other widgets uh, composition widgets uh, once you've learned this blank one the other ones should be uh, pretty self-explanatory or fairly uh, simple and easy to kind of work with uh, all right thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video